In this lecture, we will cover a very important topic of relational database that is foreign key and primary key. Interviewers and teachers generally ask this concept in job interviews and vivas. So it is very important to have a clear understanding of primary keys and foreign keys. Primary key is a field or a collection of field in one table that uniquely identifies a row of that table. You must have your employment ID or student roll number for your organization or school. Such numbers uniquely identifies you in your organization or schools. Similarly, each row in table can be identified uniquely by using a primary key. So suppose I own a grocery store and I have a unique customer ID for each customer visiting to my store. My customer ID can be used as a primary key of my customer table. And suppose I am recording each order of these customers in my order table and assigning order ID to uniquely identify each order. My order ID can be used as a primary key for my order table. And it is not necessary to use a single field as a primary key. We can also use combination of different fields as a primary key. So suppose I have a unique product ID for all the products that I have in my grocery store and there are some variants of those products as well. So suppose product 001 is for cola then I have two different variants of cola that is 500 ml and 1 liter. Therefore in this table I can assign a combination of product ID and variant to create primary key for this table. When we are using multiple fields as a primary key we call it a composite key. Now try to think of a primary key when you have a data of different cities and you have attributes such as city name, country name, state, population, mean temperature, pin code, longitude and latitude of that city. Pause this video for 5 to 10 seconds and try to identify the primary key in this data. Now let's go one by one over each of the given field. Our first field is city name but there can be multiple cities that have the same city name. In fact we have a city named Rome in all the continents except Antarctica. So we cannot assign city name as a primary key for this table. Next is a country. Then multiple cities in each country have a same country name. So therefore we cannot assign country name as a primary key. Similarly, multiple cities will have same states. Therefore, we have to rule out state as well. Then population and average temperature can be equal for two cities. Therefore, we cannot assign these two fields as our primary key. Now, pin code or zip code cannot be same for two cities. Therefore, we can assign pin code or zip code as our primary key. Similarly, a combination of latitude and longitude is unique for each city. Therefore, we can use a combination of these two fields, longitude and latitude, to create a primary key. This is also an example of composite key. I hope the concept of primary key is now clear to you. Now we will move on to the foreign key. Foreign key is a field in one table that uniquely identifies a row of another table. What I mean by it? Let's revisit our customer order and product example. So suppose for our order table, we are storing order ID as our primary key and customer ID to identify the customer information from the customer table and the product key to identify what all products they are purchasing in this order. In this case, customer ID and product key are our foreign keys for this order table. We can use these keys to import additional information from our customer table and product table by directly matching this customer ID of order table with the customer ID of customer table and product key of our order table with the combined column key of our product table. So hence customer ID and product key is the foreign key of our order table. In short we can say that the primary key of other tables are the foreign keys of the given table. This is not necessarily true in all the cases but it's generally true in most of the cases. I hope these concepts are crystal clear to you now as these concepts are very important and are frequently asked in job interviews and vivas. 
Thank you.